Hey guys, before we get into this video, I did want to announce my brand new partnership with G Fuel Energy. G Fuel is one of the best drinks that you guys can use while you are gaming, and now you guys can actually use code BIO2K for 30% off your final order for a limited time. After that, the code will drop down to 10%, so make sure you guys do take advantage of that 30% now. It's going to go from April 22nd to April 26th, so make sure you guys go ahead and use the code. After that, like I said, though, the code will be 10% off. You guys can go to their website here at gfuel.com. You guys can see they have a ton of different flavors, including some with zero sugar, so if you guys are worried about that i got you guys covered there as well i hope you guys do take the time to check out this product because when i tell you guys i drink this every stream every video every day i tell you guys right now it does work and it really does help you improve at gaming so hopefully you guys check it out i hope you guys did enjoy this video or i hope you guys do enjoy this video and uh yeah peace what is going on guys it is your boy by 2k and today i'm gonna be bringing you guys a content prediction video this is something that you guys have been asking for me to do for a very long time you guys really do enjoy the prediction videos that i do drop i'm um, obviously at the end of each season going for the season after that um, and again, you guys have been asking me to make content prediction videos. So if you guys do want to see this video like every Thursday, just trying to, you know, kind of guess what I think is going to happen the next day or anything like that, do me a favor and leave a like on this video. If you guys get like 300 likes, I'll know that you guys do want to see more of these. Um, and obviously these videos I like doing a lot because it does take a lot of thought that, you know, there is a thought that goes into it. It's not just like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to make up five random players and call it a day. So like I said, if you guys do want to see more of these, kill the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Again, I don't want, I can't stress this enough. This is a content prediction video as it is stated in the title. It is not a guaranteed thing that is going to be coming out. There's nothing that is confirmed. This is again a content prediction video video so now that that's out the way let's get into this video and kind of talk about what i think is going to be coming out tomorrow so first things first what i wanted to do was kind of go through the different promos and stuff like that and what we haven't seen in a long time and one thing that i think you know we've obviously been getting a good amount of promos we got out of position we obviously seen this warped reality one uh we did see an idols promo with carmelo anthony we have seen a flash promo with hakeem or not hakeem excuse me uh we saw a flash promo with wilt and derozan so there was a lot of different stuff that had come out now the one thing we have not seen this season is a retro promo we have seen three retros the last one obviously was with Dark Matter Derrick Rose, but that has been a minute since we've gotten one of these. So that makes me believe that we are going to be seeing a Retro 4 set. So with Retro number 4 dropping, obviously, you know, you guys can see that they do include cards from every single game. If you take a look at the very first Retro set, we have cards from 2K15, 2K18, this is 2K16, I believe this is 18 as well. So you guys can see that there's obviously cards from every single game. Now, the first card that I think we are definitely going to be seeing is a Dark Matter LeBron James. And that LeBron James, I'm thinking, is going to be the card art from probably either 2k 17 or not i'm sorry not 2k 17 probably either 2k 16 or 2k 19. i think the two lebrons that we could potentially see are those 99 overall cards from those games and i think that would be uh, you know two cards that would be really fire i originally i did think it would be the 2k 16 card but what i think would work out best honestly is going to be the 2k 19 card i think the 2k 19 one definitely looks a lot more fire i mean like the signature limited one 99 overall it was obviously him kobe and jordan um and i think you know that lebron card would be really clean to headline a nice little retro three set i know a lot of people think that lebron is going to be part of the idol set but i really do think lebron would be a perfect thing in the retro set the reason why retro odds are already terrible enough so a dark matter lebron would kind of make more sense to be a part of a promo that already has bad odds now, obviously, when we're talking about other cards in the promo, I think the very first one, or another one that does kind of come up in my head that I think we are going to be seeing is going to be the Galaxy Opal Josh Smith from 2K20, I believe it was. It was either 2K20 or 2K19. I think it was last year in 2K20. But I can see us getting either a Dark Matter or a Galaxy Opal Josh Smith. Josh Smith is a card that we haven't seen since Season 2 of, like, this year. And he's a really good card. And I think they could kind of put him in a promo with a guy like LeBron. I feel like their play styles in 2K do kind of blend together pretty nicely. So, again, Josh Smith is another card that I can see. Now, some other guys is, or another guy, I should say, is going to be a Galaxy Opal or Dark Matter, Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin, again, another card that we have not seen 
since uh, season two. He was obviously the level 40 reward, 96 overall pink diamond card. And I think after that, the only thing we got was a flash blade griffin. That was like an amethyst or something like that. That wasn't really that good. So outside of that though, the third and final card that, well not, well third card outside of LeBron that I think I'm going to guess is going to be an RJ Bear. RJ Bear is a card that we have yet to see in this year's my team. Um, the highest card that I think he does have is an emerald. He did end up having a pink diamond last year. That was really good in the token market. So that's going to be another card that I think we could potentially be seeing in the uh, token or not in the token market, but as a part of this retro set. If you guys do agree or you guys do have any other, you know, predictions or anything like that, feel free to comment them down below. But like I said, LeBron headlining a promo followed by John. Josh Smith, Blake Griffin, and RJ Barrett is something that I could really see happening tomorrow. Now, again, this is completely a prediction, so I'm probably going to be wrong about what is coming out. I do really think we are going to be seeing a LeBron tomorrow. Um, it could potentially be another idols thing. It could potentially be, you know, other stuff. And there is obviously a bunch of cards in this game that we have not seen for a very long time. Even going back to this idols one set, Sydney Moncrief is another guy that we could be seeing as one of those random things. Alonzo Mourning is another card we could potentially see. Um, Willis Reed could be one. Bingo Smith. Like, obviously, there's a lot of guys like Michael Cooper, Byron Scott, like those two guys. Again, people we have not seen since season one um there is a lot of opportunities for us to get different cards so it will be interesting to see who we end up getting in these promos and stuff like that i just like i said i'm 99.9 .9 sure it is going to be a retro promo and i do like the retro sets i mean they do lock in for a good amount of tokens which really does help out for the future and stuff like that so i am definitely down i'm gonna just go ahead and actually scoop up this baron davis i am debating on locking in this set as well because Turkaloo is relatively cheap. Scotty is relatively cheap. This Steph, obviously, this would be like the third Steph that I'd be basically locking in permanently. And then Derrick Rose. I don't know. I'm kind of debating on it. Derrick Rose is the only expensive one, but 200 tokens is kind of worth it for me. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, though. Maybe in the next retro set, we pull some heat. Who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy. It. Again, be sure to comment down below. You know, do you guys agree with what I'm saying? Do you guys disagree? Like, who do you guys think we potentially see tomorrow? Um, obviously tomorrow being Friday, a lot of good stuff is going to be happening. There is the week one clue thing that did actually end up coming out today or not the week one clue, excuse me, the week four clue. I didn't even realize that there was moment stuff. Like that's actually a lot of stuff. Like, what is that? Like 19 and 10 with my man. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but tons of, uh, moment stuff here. Uh, and then again, like you guys can see, like, I don't even have Andre Miller. I, I don't have, you know, uh, people are obviously are assuming that this is going to be, uh, I think Yusuf Nurkic is the guy that everyone's going with. So, I mean, again, I don't really like, it's not in like a bad way, I guess. I just don't really care to, you know, do anything else. Like I have my no money spent account that I've been grinding on and everything and just keeping up for stream content. <gasps> Um, outside of that though, I do have a pretty good prize pack opening video. I'm working on, you know, coming for you guys. We got a good amount of packs cooking up here. Obviously, this weekend, we will be getting flooded with uh, different uh, locker codes and stuff like that. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. We're going to see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to kill the like button if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, peace.